and we're back to learning JavaScript using Exorcism. This exercise 3, Analyze Infiltration. You can also use the syllabus, but don't use the numbers concept. It's a different exercise. I believe it's the Boolean concept that leads you to this exercise. If you can't find it, just go back to Overview and click on the third option right here. It's called Analyze Infiltration and we'll start it right away in the editor. As always, read through the instructions yourself. It's all about creating these if conditions. And we're going to use Boolean operations, so true and false. And everything is hidden in our instructions. Let's go to task one. We need this function, can execute fast attack. And night is wake is the parameter for it. And night is awake can only be true or false. So if we write if and add the condition right here. We'll have to check for the fast attack what is the condition. Just go upwards and you find it right here. So the attack can be made if the knight is sleeping, which means that knight is awake is our condition. And if it's true, the knight is awake and we can't execute the fast attack, so we'll have to return false. Below the if, add else, and we can return true. And if we run the test, it should give us a correct answer. And we've passed both tests. Let's jump right to task number two, which is about a spy action. And a function is called can spy, which can be found here. We've got three parameters in this case. And once again, we'll have to create an if statement. And then use these three parameters to determine if we should return false or true. So how is the spy action defined? The group can be spied on if at least one of them is awake. So that is written like this, knight is awake. If he is awake, we can return true. The condition is that either of these three need to be awake for it to be true. So we can just use these double lines and add the other two parameters. So it basically says if knight is awake or archer is awake or prisoner is awake, return true else return false. We've passed all of these tests for task two, so let's jump right to task number three, which is about can signal prisoner. Here's the function for it. This time we've got two parameters. And again, we'll use an if statement. And all that we have to do is to determine at which condition we'll have to return true or false. And it says in the instructions right here, prisoner can be singled if he is awake and the archer is asleep. So if archer is awake, let's copy paste that. In this case, we need our return to be false.
And if the prisoner is awake, we could signal. So we'll have to write it like this in a condition. Prisoner is awake equals false. And we also have to add our else, in this case return true. If we run the test, we should pass all of them. And in this case it doesn't really make a difference if we use three of these equal signs. If we run the test again, it's still true. So it doesn't matter for this task how you write it. The final task, it's a little bit longer, but still doable. Let me jump to the instructions. This time our function is can free prisoner, and we've got four parameters. But it's the same outline, so we'll need an if and an else statement. Let's make the if true, and the else should return false. Now let's look at the conditions for our parameters. We can find them right here. First one is she has her pet dog with her. So pet dog is present, should be true. And the archer is asleep, so archer is awake, needs to be false. If we run the test, we have already passed most of them except for test 16 and we can pass that by looking at the second condition in our instructions which would be the second bullet point right here. To make it a little bit more readable I'm going to put this one into parentheses so that we know that this first part is for our first bullet point And if you delete these two double lines, you can still run the test and it's fine. So the parentheses are just for readability. Now let's jump to the second bullet point. We need our OR, so these double lines. Go to the second bullet point. She does not have a pet dog, so pet dog is present needs to be false. And the prisoner is awake, so prisoner is awake. And and the knight and the archer is awake, they need to be false for this condition to be true. And if we run the test now, we've got them all passed. And this is how you can solve Anadin's infiltration in Exorcism. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.